Welcome back to the Crypto Report. I'm Black C and I have another video for you guys today. I want to talk about Crypto.com, Crowcoin, and give you guys my opinion on where I think we could be headed here, especially after the news that Crypto.com, yes, is suing the SEC guys, really starting to push back at this heavy-handed, unnecessary, barbaric regulation that is unclear, that's getting pushed on the cryptocurrency space. Crypto.com is standing up to the SEC, and I love to see that. So without further ado, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's hop into this video. So guys, first things first, over on Crypto Twitter, you can follow me at 333BlackC. I say, it is signal that even the most regulated and law-abiding crypto exchange, Crypto.com, is being targeted by the SEC. All it will do is delay the inevitable, guys, and that is mass adoption. You know, when I got into cryptocurrency way back in the day, it's been nearly a decade, I remember saying, getting involved with Bitcoin, saying, man, they are definitely not going to let this happen. The big banks are definitely not going to let this happen. They're not going to let it. Why would they give up their control and power? Why would they give up their money-making abilities with why, – why would they give up their centralization? There's so much power in centralization with these banks. Why would they give it up? And well, as you can see right now, they're getting – Bitcoin cryptocurrency is getting fought. There's a fight. There's a fight between the SEC and these cryptocurrency exchanges because guess what, guys? If there's no cryptocurrency exchange, where are you going to buy your cryptocurrency? It's as simple as that. Really, really interesting to see this, but I think that the SEC is a little bit late to the party. You know, first we saw XRP get chased after, and they're still fighting that case, even though every other day it seems like there's a the SEC and crypto ripple lawsuit has finally come to an end. I feel like I see headlines like that every single day, but they're still fighting it. I really did believe that Ripple was going to be uh, an example, that the, the example that the SEC wanted to create, and they're still fighting it, and they have not succeeded. And guys, you know, I knew that going into cryptocurrency that it was not going to be as simple as, okay, yeah, you guys, mass adoption, let's go. Cryptocurrency is great. Any disruptive thing in nature is going to have pushback. It's as simple as that, and we're seeing that right now. But seeing Crypto.com really stand up, it Cryptocurrency exchanges have resources now, guys. They have enough money to fight back the, to the SEC. You know, I saw some uh, some comments on YouTube and Twitter, people saying, oh, good luck suing the SEC. Oh, good luck fighting back. Guys, it's not like a single person is suing the SEC or a branch of the government. It is a multi, multi, multi-billion dollar company that has many, many connections that is suing the government, okay? So there's a little bit less likely of a David versus Goliath situation there. It's actually, they, they can win. I mean, Ripple and the XRP army has succeeded somewhat versus the SEC. They've had many wins, and I do expect Crypto.com to make that happen a little bit quicker, to be honest with you. We saw Coinbase get sued, got served a Wells notice, so, you know, Binance. Binance is a different story because it's basically a Chinese blockchain, not blockchain, a Chinese exchange. I, I I know I'll get some flack for that, but it's just the truth. It's just the truth. Just just read between the lines and that's what Binance is. Uh, but I do think that this is what we need. We need Crypto.com to step up and I love to see them stepping up because, you know, I remember back when there was so much FUD on Crypto.com and Crowcoin and a lot of people were saying, Oh, Crypto.com is over. You know, they, they don't have proof of reserves. We saw what happened with FTX. FTX collapsed. Crypto.com is next. And it really came out of nowhere, uh, this whole thing about Crypto.com is next. There's, everyone wants to throw FUD on CDC, and I'm not sure why, but it's just been how, how it occurred. And guess what, guys? Crypto.com standed st standing strong and tall right now. I showed proof of reserves, and there was a bank run. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. They had it. It's just very fascinating. And, you know, I think now more than ever right now is the time that the Crow fam needs to get behind Crypto.com and say, hey, you know, we see what's going on and we believe in you. We, we think that you can do this. Really start to show that, hey, we need to stand up to the SEC because 
regulation, regulatory clarity, emphasis on clarity, is what we need to see for the cryptocurrency space. So I, I looked up uh, Crypto.com suing the SEC, you know, Crypto.com sues the SEC, challenging its jurisdiction over digital assets. Because guys, like, really, really, the SEC is just trying to slow the cryptocurrency space down. It is clear as day. Talk about clarity, the, the irony in it. It's so clear what the SEC is trying to do. They're trying to slow the cryptocurrency space down, trying to slow mass adoption down, and uh, really blanket it with the idea of, oh, we're trying to save the people and help the people protect them. And it's doing the exact opposite, really. Where were the, where was the SEC when FTX was giving money to all the co- one out of three congressmen? Uh, you know, where was the SEC then? Where was the SEC when uh, Sam Bankman Fried was stealing billions of dollars of user funds? It's just very fascinating. Uh, so I want to take a look at Crowcoin right now. Kronos is sitting at rank 42, down about 3.86% on the day. 24 hours, up about, two, oh, the seven days is down 3.86%. Excuse me, we had a little bit of an up day today, up about 2.75%. Uh, when you zoom in here, we can see that we're sitting at a nice $2.3 billion a market cap for circulating supply. And guys, we've had a nice $6.16 million 24-hour volume. Yeah, coin market cap changed their layout here. It's pretty cool. I like how it looks. Uh, but yeah, you know, Crowcoin is at a very, very important price level. I will be honest with you. Bitcoin has been doing some very strange moves. You know, guys, usually in the month of October, in the month of October, we'll say, uh, usually the low is in after the 10th of October. And today we're seeing a little bit of a move to the upside when it comes to Bitcoin. But we'll talk about Bitcoin later. But you guys do know, Bitcoin is the tide that raises all the boats. Crowcoin will follow it. We just need to be patient. But I do not like Crowcoin being underneath this yellow line. I've been talking to you guys about that for a while now. This yellow line at 0.0830 cent level. Below it is weakness and above it is strength, guys. Really want to start making our way back above it because if we make our way above 0.0830, the magnet is about 10 cents towards the 200-day moving average of this yellow line right there. And if it's below the 0.0830, then the magnet is, unfortunately, 0.0689 cents, guys. So we really need to see Crowcoin get a nice breakout to the upside here. When you look at the weekly, you can really see why, where the magnets are at, if you will. Uh, when you're seeing weekly candle closures making kind of a newer low here, uh, you should expect it's testing the weekly candle closure in this uh, structure right here. You should expect... Um, pressure to the downside. You should expect pressure to the downside when you see this. But uh, guys, we need to be patient. We need to be patient with the crow coin. I think that if historical probabilities and statistics are correct, then October should be a bullish month, especially because September closed bullish. And that's only happened five times, I believe, out of the last 14 or 13 Septembers. So really, we should expect I move to the upside. And usually the lows are in by October 10th. Guys, if you think that Crowcoin is going to go to the moon and you think that we are set up to see that big move to the upside and the bottom is in, then check out these fantastic referral links we have down below in the pinned comment section as well as in the description box below. We have a $5,000 sign-in bonus to Blowfin. All you do is click that link, deposit, trade a little bit, and you get a bunch of free money. You can leverage trade some meme coins if you want to be really degen about it, or you can leverage trade Bitcoin or Ethereum if you want to be a little bit more conservative and hedge against your portfolio. But uh, leverage trade at your own risk, guys. It can be very, very risky, but it is a very useful tool. So check out those links down below. So where is the overall market? Today, Bitcoin is trading at $62,694. Following a new all-time high on the S&P 500, the overall traditional market, usually you see Bitcoin start to make quite a move to the upside, especially, guys, it's an election year as well. The election is only about a month away as well, guys. You know, I've, I've had that thesis. I've thrown it out there that, you know, maybe a lot of the big money that's stuck and stowed away in those uh, 5% uh, money market accounts are waiting for a little bit more certainty in the overall market. And the certainty will come after the election. I think there's a lot riding on this election when it comes to the financial world and the macroeconomics of the world. And I think a lot of people with big money are viewing that the same exact way, guys. But when we look at Bitcoin dominance trading at 56.7%, basically 58.7%, almost 59% Bitcoin dominance level, 
I expect 60% to be the top for dominance until we see Bitcoin make new all times, new all time highs or test highs, in my opinion. But really, all in all, here, guys, uh, the altcoins I think that are, I think the altcoins are holding up well. I think that they're somewhat bottomed out here. I think that altcoin season is around the corner after Bitcoin makes a decision here. So where is Bitcoin at? Bitcoin is basically right now, when you look at the weekly, it's in no man's land, honestly. It's uh, really it could go up or down from here. But based on historical probability statistics, October 10th is usually the low. Usually the low is in by October 10th and it is the 11th, guys. So we should expect a move to the upside based on past events. And no, you cannot uh, you cannot predict the future based on past events, but that's all we have. And probability based on past events is a useful thing to use. That's how I do most of my swing trading and how I do most of my trading and it has worked out well for me. But uh, when you look over at the monthly, you can see we're starting to flip green. I like to see that, guys. We need to see monthly candle closure above basically 62, 59, 59,000, honestly. Uh, we wouldn't need to see monthly candle closure above 59K for me to say, okay, we're setting up to make a, a big, big move to the upside. Re really, in reality, I would really want to see above like 64,000, but uh, the weekly time frame is 59,000. We want to see weekly candle closure, which isn't a day in 22 hours above 59,000. Uh, that, that's a day in 22 hours. A lot can happen, but I think that we've basically, knock on wood, have that locked in. But really, guys, the monthly, the higher term time frames, that will, that's what we need to be looking at here. You're seeing money flow increasing. We should be setting up for a very bullish quarter four. We're going to have to see how this all plays out. But guys, if you like this type of content, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel right now. Check out those awesome referral links down below. That's all I got for you. Let me know in the comment section below. Do you guys think that Crowcoin will make new all-time highs before 2025. I'm very curious on what you guys think. I think that Crowcoin will not make new all-time highs before 2025 unless there's absolutely ripping, roaring rallies with Bitcoin. Like I'm talking 150,000 maybe, but I do expect big moves for Crowcoin. That's all I got for you guys. I'll see you in the next one.